All right. We just got to the labyrinth. I've been playing this game a little while. All right, I've done a full run through already. So I have, I'm working on like, I'm playing as Gunslinger Explorer. Uh, I'm not that leveled on them yet. Not really that kitted out either. I think we could, since I decided I'm gonna actually play it. We could either um, start a new campaign, I'm thinking, or just keep going with this one. But I'm kind of leaning towards just starting over a campaign, so let's, um, even though I just got to the labyrinth, but who cares? This isn't anywhere special, really. We barely just got started. What are my thoughts on Remnant 2 so far? Mm, I like it. Um, it's very, very, almost the similarities outweigh the differences for uh, from the original. That's both good and bad. I mean, it doesn't really feel like a different game, if I'm being honest. What do I like? The biggest difference I've seen so far is that you can have... I Honestly, I guess it's been a while since I played Remnant 1, but I don't remember you being able to have two classes at once, two archetypes is what they call them. And right now, I, I like that. I like that you can... Because that gives you a lot of combinations of things that you can play instead of just being stuck on one thing. Um, so you can kind of like combo things together. I think that was a really smart idea. So props for that. I think the combat's still pretty solid. Um, Just gonna ignore me, huh? Yeah, pretty much. I know you hear me. Now you're not gonna get the intro or the tutorial part of it, but you're not missing out. Trust me. We're just gonna go on like easy peasy difficulty because meh. Oh, it put us back in um, low sum, huh? Interesting. This is the one I just did, which is fine. This is my favorite zone so far by quite a margin. Oh shit. Oh yeah, yeah. The... Wait, can we go through the labyrinth? No, we don't have the key yet. Okay, yeah. Right. Oh, so once you get the key, can you come back and open it? I noticed that on my last one as I did Nerud as my first zone. And uh, I wasn't able guys? to get back to it, and I want, kind of wanted to unlock the engineer <gasps> class, but. Them for their class right okay, I'm not gonna lie, she jump scared me just a little bit there. The I better get moving if I'm gonna find Clementine. Get, get, get! Oh, okay, it's back to the sanatorium, huh? I actually really liked that boss. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought the sanatorium, like I said, this is my favorite zone so far. It's not even a close comparison. Stand together. Frankly, the uh, forest zone is, I think, a repeat. I think there was a forest zone in the first one, if I'm remembering correctly. We'll go up here and look, why not? And I'm hoping um, at some point later today, probably some of my buddies will be on and we'll do some multiplayer. And you can get a feel for that. See if the game's maybe something you're interested in. What did that proc? Scavenger, oh, those are my sca okay. Yeah, yeah, so you do more damage as an explorer when you pick stuff off of the ground. Man, that lasts a long time. I did not realize. Stop the monster! 
Oh my god. Yeah, that makes you do a lot of damage. Holy Toledo. Wow, that perk's actually pretty strong, huh? Oh god. I have a really bad tendency in this game. Oh, come on. I have a really bad tendency to dodge too early in this game, I've noticed. Forgot about my gunslinger ability, which I totally could have used. This one looks dangerous. Yeah, it's really easy. The perk I'm talking about, by the way, is this one, Scavenger. So increases damage dealt by one percent per stack. So we're getting five percent free damage, basically. It's like a thirty-second. Yeah, and it adds for um, a long time, seems like. Like, see? Bam, full bus. Ow! Yeah, I'm not hating the typewriter, I gotta say. Great, I was using the, um, the Wrangler, the 1860 Wrangler. For a long time, but um, no here. I don't hate it. I don't hate the typewriter, <laughs> even though it starts a little wide. I feel like the um, gunslinger compensates for that pretty well, and it also you also like reload way quicker. So, Stop oh shit! I think the I think the um. Words, words. I still think that Wrangler, the lever action rifle, is better against like uh, mobs, just like running around style uh, mob clearing because it really staggers them a lot and you can like one shot a lot of people. However, that said, I think the typewriter is probably better against bosses and and, ch and chunkier, heftier enemies because, um, yeah. Even with like really fast reload, the uh, it's a, it's just not as obvious when you're reloading on that gun. I don't know what it is exactly. It's because you're doing one round at a time, I guess. Yeah, and if um, you were curious what's going on, if, you really, if you're like a story nerd, I'm not usually, I'm pretty like mid about the story. Like, if it's good, I'll enjoy it. No, no doubt about that, but like, I'm not, I'm not gonna lose my mind if I'm like, hey, the gameplay is way more important to me. But um, just so what we're doing makes sense, so you have like some context for our motivations here. Is that guy alive? He is. How dare you fake being dead? Whoa. I just rolled through the fire. Oh my god, that guy's tanky. It's a bad priest. 
Bad priest. Yeah, see, some of them are... To be honest with you, I don't really know the backstory of this area of the map, but, um... I don't know why, but it reminds me of, like, a nuclear blast or something, you know? Like, what you'd expect to see if, like, a nuclear blast went off. Anyway. I don't know why they're... But, like, they're still intact. It's, it's actually... You know what it really reminds me of is Pompeii, like where you see those cast bodies of like them being buried by ash, volcanic ash. But um, yeah, I've been impressed by the boss fights. That's one really strong area. I think they're fun and interesting. They have a lot of variety. The one boss that I gotta say, they, they need to change, they need to fix it. It's just not, it's just like not a good design at all is uh, the Mantagora boss where she's flying around. I'm fine with you putting a boss in that like you kill over the course of the level, but she shows so rarely, like you literally just sit there. If you don't know, it's a bird boss. She flies around and she like hides behind like normally out of range she flies behind cover you can't see her around the edges of the map at all Ooh. it's just like not a good boss design was that dude like a giant mouth another thing although i don't suffer from this anymore because i'm playing gunslinger is like i feel like the ammo Stop thing them. when i first started playing i was like the ammo thing is not fun. but to be honest that's like really not a problem for me anymore the heck who hit me will you piss off please Just great. Get them. Why are these guys so tanky? And like these, yeah, it's like throwing knives at me from the sideline, I've, they blend in with the bodies. God, it's a little frustrating, I'm being honest. Whoa! Like, rude. Does have to be said, you have to plow a lot of bullets into people with this, but this gun. Get the I almost thought I heard a dog there for a second.
That's it. <sighs> For now. Yeah, when they zerg you like that, kind of sucks. Now, I, I do wonder, does this go up? Increases with explorer level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this will actually get stronger. That's pretty good. And we're getting, like, more drops. Mostly I went this because my buddies um, have not completed the game, and I thought it'd be cool. You know, I'd be a cool guy. And Explorer just makes uh, makes it so you get more stiff. It's not really a damage build spec, but I feel that um, the gunslinger is just so strong that you don't even need to like add any more damage to your kit, really. Yeah, I don't know about the typewriter. Maybe I have to get. I might have to give the LMG a try. I have not yet. Um. Oh my god! I should heal. Oh my god! Freaking thing, dude. even worse when you uh, just take it to the face. Okay, using the mod there, I kind of put that guy down. Oh, I'm poisoned, of course. Oh, I'm out of ammo with that gun. We haven't gotten uh, any more weapon drops. Is there something up here? Let's take a look. Oh god. Please don't light me on fire. Is there any reason to come up here? Oh god. Bro, where? Can I get some ammo, please? Kill him. How did we get so low?
It does say we're supposed to be like power level 16 and I am technically a little under the power level. See, that's the thing is it, I feel like it, it scales the game um, pretty well, even on just like the standard difficulty. Um, I feel like the uh, higher difficulty, it really puts the enemies like quite a pace ahead of you. Where the heck are we trying to go here? Well, it seems like that's an option. Bro, how many guys are over in this corner? Did I miss a ladder over here? Oh, okay, that's what was over here. There's a ladder. Okay, okay, okay. I see now. Uh, is it back in the back in the tight little corner you can't see? Fairy needle. I had one of those and I sold it. I don't even know what it does. Okay. That's quite impolite, sir. Here they come. We are um out of dragon hearts. That's, that's bad, yo. So hang on a second. We went all the way down there just for like a consumable chest. Jeez. That was our reward for our exploratory nature. We do kind of need to hurry here to the end because uh, I'm a little scared that... <laughs> See what I'm talking about? You blend in with the scenery, it's very annoying. Holy hell. Oh shit. Well this ain't right. So, how do we? Oh, he's way off in Africa. Is that the way you're supposed to go? I think it is. It does make me wonder, though, if there's something up here. Wouldn't know how you get over there. I think we bypass. No biggie. Get them!
We are kind of running into some ammo issues there, though. I don't think I've ever had that before. Got to be close to the checkpoint. Oh, my God. Those guys. I tell you what, for science, we are gonna, I will switch over. And I'll give you like a taste of like what the other guy works like. So they're about equally leveled. So you have some context. We'll add, uh... Honestly, time lapse actually seems good against these guys. So let's just use that. And I don't even really care about This is really good for the weapon, though. We'll take it off my nightmare. It's fine. The nightmare is, like, I do have one. But I don't know. It just doesn't feel quite right to me. Like, the projectile speed is a little weird. It doesn't, it doesn't hit like this one. See? Like, two hits. You see how good it is at staggering, dudes. That's probably its main um, draw. I wonder if we can just like bypass everybody and just be like, bye. Bye, losers. I guess technically that's not good from an experience perspective, which is something that I'm sort of farming right now. Yeah, the stagger is really strong on this weapon. Has to be said. Oh, I didn't even see you. Oh, that's so cool! That gives me a very Stranger Things vibe. That giant mouth of his. There's another game that's like that. I can't put my finger on it right this second. Here we go. It's a very uh, Tim Burton type of horror. And uh, I don't, I don't hate that. Yeah, see, I mean, I feel like as far as mobs go, this gun is much stronger. Oh. 
Now, when it comes to boss fights, I don't think I prefer it. Oh, I should have dodged that 100%. You know, one gun I haven't tried, I have not tried the, um, like, the bolt-action sniper rifle, and maybe I should give it a try if I like this gun. Maybe, maybe that's even just a... Oh! Oh, these guys are spooky. See, this is what I'm talking about when you have to reload it. Those guys are spooky. They do a nutso amount of damage. One thing that I'm not really settled on is I don't, um, I'm not saying I dislike this, the MP submachine gun thing. I think it's pretty respectably strong, but... Um, I would like a heavier hitting option. Ooh, there's a piece of candy! And we finished Scholar. Hell yeah. That plus the ring means we're getting 25% experience bonus. Which is awesome. Now let me reorient myself here. That's where we died last time. I do need to be better about using mods. Ugh. Bro, how? See, that's the problem with this enemy. Like, you have to have a stagger weapon because even when you roll away from them, they close with you faster than you can get away. So there's like no dodging attacks once they close the distance. It's probably, they probably need to adjust the speed a little bit when they're on fire. Or like, like if it, if they land an attack, it should, like, they should be slowed or something. That way, yeah, they can fanatically run at you and hit you once, but they can't just like cling to you like they do. There's literally no getting away. It's kind of nonsense if you ask me. <sighs> it's over. Like, imagine that on harder difficulties where they're like hitting twice as hard they two shot you. Like, you, you wouldn't have a chance if they got up next to you. you. You'd just be dead if they touched you. I don't, I don't find that very compelling or interesting gameplay personally. So, I think they ought to do something about that particular, these fire boys. Oh! Nice one shot. That's probably a crit. Who? Who's here? Boy, I almost went off the edge there. I could have sworn there was one more, but I'm just going to continue on.
fire, that was bad. Alright, that was a miscalculation on my part. I shouldn't have just tried to run for it. Oh, dude, but it counted the checkpoint. Never mind. <laughs> that was totally the right play. Oh, nah. I wasn't mean to do that. Never punished. Oh, that's wild. I did not know that. So, as long as you, like, get near the checkpoint, then you're good, homie. Huh. Here they come. Ooh. Oh, he blew up the barrel. That's funny. Let's go fight this boss. Oh, but I am going to switch back to the Tommy gun. So this is where, like I said, uh, I think the Chicago typewriter is a bit stronger than this gun. Yeah. Of course, uh, you know what? We should touch the checkpoint. Then we'll have our mod available. Oh, shit. Got somebody joining in. Mon. All right, bro. Let's go. I don't know what fight this is. Oh yeah, I do. It's like they the me crazy. grenade thrower chick. crazy now. They stop this, bastard! Kill them. Rude. This guy's an engineer. Uh, I can't see her. What should I be putting my traits into? I might so, uh, put it into handling, actually. Well, you think Clementine came this way? Um, I don't know. That thing would have been dead if she did. It kind of illustrates why I think the uh, Tommy gun's so good in boss fights. There's an argument to be made of like something along the lines of the reverse that you only get like so many win snapshot windows, so you want like really high single single damage weapons. But when you're applying that much uh, like of the poison, or you're you're getting extra damage per shot off of the uh, thingy, the mod, I think actually it's it's better.
Reminds me to check. I'm not blocking anything, right? Okay, good. I just swap it back. Why not? You know, I haven't... Oh, I have not tried that, um... Bolt-action rifle. So now I'm kind of curious if it's actually good. I think I'll buy it. We'll, like, shoot it a couple times. We'll see how it feels. I'm not convinced that that would be, like, an amazing gun, but... I love the lever action in the in the original remnant as well. I just can't give you up, baby. You look like you need some shooting. Yeah, all right. I going to be made that I should get the uh, bone saw as well actually, and I may just buy it. No, not the widowmaker. Although it has more rounds per second, which is interesting. How does that make any sense? I actually don't hate it. Now, allegedly, you can use a scope with it. How do you do that? Oops, controls. Oh, Z. Oh my god, it's actually crazy strong in scope mode. I mean, it only costs iron. Let me upgrade this really quick. Let's see how good it is. <laughs> what can I do for you? This is, this, I, okay, I was complaining about the Mantagora boss. This would actually be good against her, I think. What did you bring? Um, we have enough. I can probably, what do we need? You're probably gonna need like 22 or something. We need 20, 20 scraps of iron. Just gonna ignore me, huh? I'm gonna laugh if I, I end up liking this gun a lot. God damn, it is you. The rumors had me thinking I might not ever see you again. Ooh. You mean that before we got? Feels like anything. Can yeah. Hell, maybe it was. I I was just doing what I do. But so hey. If Ooh. Relic capacity is halved. Hmm. I have to think about that. I mean, you might as well. But I need the monies, don't I? What are these rings? Hmm. 
This one's actually not bad. It doesn't seem like it'd be very good, but actually, you know, after reading it, because here's the problem is like when you try to heal. So let's say you drop below 30% HP. That is about the moment that. that you really want to heal. See, now going down to three hearts to me is that might be a little too small. That is a little spooky. Ah, good to see. But I could see at some point. God, I'm going all in on this thing, aren't I? That's fine. You know where to find me. What I've noticed is with the Explorer, you get like way more mats. And so it's not really probably going to be that big a deal. 5% move speed increase. That feels nice. What do we what are we getting next for this? Increases ammo reserves by 45%. Dear god. That's so good. Quick hands bonus is doubled when weapon is reloaded from empty. So you get 20% move or uh, reload speed from empty. Woo! Gunslinger is like, it's just like, it's such a powerful secondary for sure. Cause the primary perk isn't even like that important. It, the primary perk all it does is like when you use your, your skill, it reloads both your weapons. That is good. Don't get me wrong. That means you could like be like, boo, 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 switch weapons, boo, 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 and then use an ability and keep going through that rotation, which is good. That is a good um, play style, but I mean, take for example the Explorer perk where everybody gets 10% more stuff. I mean, it's not, and it's not integral. You still get like the bonus ammo. You're still getting like the bonus reload speed. So it's a really like super powerful class, not even in like primary slot. It's like probably the most powerful secondary. Hunter's not even close to that, I feel like. There are some other good secondary ones, but. I just think Gunslinger is insanely powerful. Like, say you wanted to be a team medic. And you wanted to run Alchemist or Medic. Right? Like, they struggle a little bit to, like, have perks that give them um, bumps in their DPS. All of a sudden, you slot... Um, Oh yeah, we gotta work our way around to the asylum, don't we? But we should also put some stuff on it. Mm. Mm. That's not. Although that does look cool. I do kind of like this time lapse. I think it's actually also good on this weapon. We'll put momentum on it, that's fine. I think that's me, Hope mid. Fit. Oh, <laughs> 
Eyes up. Might not be over. Um, I think this gun's pretty strong. Can't carry anymore. Is that his gun? I was like, what is making that noise? Hello? No, this isn't where we want to go for the story, but it's fine. It's fine. Nah, I mean. Uh oh. Who that? Actually, hey, wait a minute. Reload on this isn't bad. And if we double it, it'll be nuts. I it's, So I guess he's doing like stripper clips. So he's kind of just, it's basically like a magazine. Re Here, dude. 
Trust me. Here they come. Easy. No room for that. Yeah, this time thing's actually like kind of cracked. Oh, he stunned himself. That's hilarious. Is there like some weak point for these pros? I Did the other guys leave? Oh, interesting. I think uh, I think my internet dropped or something. All right. Well, um, hopefully next time we'll be back with some of my buddies. Till then, this has been Remnant Two. I'm rather enjoying the game. I do think it's gonna need like a fair bit more content. That can't. Uh, I'm sure they already like anticipate that and hopefully they'll be ready to pump out more but yeah I like the game I like the I generally like the gameplay loop I love the bosses uh, I love the way that they adjusted the archetype uh, layout I think the archetype archetypes are all pretty well thought out some of them are obviously stronger than others and that's fine with me actually I'd, I'm I'm okay with there being like niche classes that's not necessarily a bad thing, but um, especially because you can combine them. So when you have the ability to access two, so you can get some like niche skills while still maintaining power. But anyway, uh, what else? Yeah, I do think it's priced reasonably, and uh, if you're looking for like a relatively chill loot shooter and like a semi-thriller horror game, it's pretty solid. But, uh, yeah, like I said, catch you next time. Bye.